As uh, we observe 100 days under lockdown, tributes are continuing to pour in over social media and other platforms on the passing of veteran actress Mary Twyla Mshongo. She passed away at the Park Lane Hospital in Johannesburg. This has been confirmed by her son. TV and radio personality Somi Zimshong on social media. Twyla has an extensive career in film and television and was recently awarded the Order of Ikamanga in silver by President Cyril Ramaphosa. As you can see there, Ministers Lindy Sisulu and Figile Mbalula, as well as EFF's Julius Malema, some of those tweeting their condolences to Mam Shong or Mary Twyla. The tributes describe Twyla as a legendary trailblazer because her, whose departure was a loss not only for her son but also a great loss for the nation. And we talk about this uh, on the phone with Lillian Dube, veteran actress, cancer activist, but a very close friend of Uma Mary Twyla. Um, Lillian, a very good evening to you. I mean, many of us have been and are thinking of you during this time. Uh, Uma Mary Twyla's family, especially so easy. But how are you processing this moment? Hi, Monica. I'm so saddened. But I must say, she has been very ill for a long time. It's just that she was a strong person. I am sure Kati Suture re opkhumote aroba leka hot. So you were with her uh, at hospital very recently. How are her spirits? I found her very down, but I gave her something that made her come back to life. And she started start singing. <laughs> she started singing, and I said, Mary, you're going to expose me now. She didn't listen to me. She said, Hey, look at me. I'm no longer in a hospital, I'm in a hotel. The doctor is there, Dr. Leland Dube. Oh, Mary, I'll always remember. We always used to have so much fun together. As we're showing in the visuals now, we're showing uh, pictures of uh, the two of you dancing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh no, Mary, man, Mary. You know, it's funny, Teti Manaka, because you've just wrapped up squeezers for good. Squeezers fight. We are no longer going to have squeezers. Isn't it symbolic? Because Mary was squeezers. Mm, mm. It was such fun working with Mary. Even at her age, she still remembered her lines and she made us laugh. She was just full of love. And I used to ask Mary, Mary, Ujola Noban, and she would say to me, Hey, I'm Joel, I'm going to go to the every night. I found it so funny, and she believed it. <laughs> Mam Lillian, let's talk okay. about your friendship and how it began. And uh, knowing you and uh, Uban Mary, I mean, the combination in itself, uh, some have described it as just naughty, but a, a, a fun kind of naughty. How did it begin? When did you meet? Oh, my darling. I saw Mary on Gibson Kenter's production, How Long? I, I believed then, because I wasn't acting, I believed she was real mad. And I was so inspired, so much that I went to DOCC to go and join the cast of Gibson Kenter. Unfortunately, I saw him beating one of the actors, and I said, never. If even in acting, I'm still going to be beaten. I mean, I'd left school because I didn't want to be beaten up. So when I saw Gibson does that, I said, I'm not going into acting. Mm. So I waited until the, in, uh, the advent of television. Then I started acting. And guess what? I used to get maybe the most beautiful jobs. And so maybe. And so maybe used to put me in trouble because you'd never show up and the directors would be on my case. But I've had a wonderful, wonderful relationship with Mary. Mm. When I started Squeezers, it has always been with Mary Twyla in mind because she brought something so beautiful in that production and people loved Squeezers because of Mary. I do seem to have a beautiful friendship too as well, the two of you. What made it special for you? I mean, if you think of her... Um, having left you behind, uh, what is the one thing that you think about that no one can duplicate in the friendship that you had? You know, my sweetheart, Mary was a very genuine human being. She was a legend. She was, like you said, a trailblazer, but she was forever humble, and she loved people. I remember one day she had 
um, Georgia FM that there were people who were going without food. Do you know that Mary went to the station to donate money to that family? That was Mary. And also, you, you will not believe this, she was a praying woman. When my partner was very ill, almost dying, Mary said, Nganwami, I'm going to pray. Mm. So also, another thing, Mary never took herself seriously. Some of us, like me, I mean, you know me, I'm, I'm very boastful. I've been overseas, and you'll always hear me say that Mary has been, I don't know how many times overseas, you'd never hear Mary sing when I was in New York. No, she was that humble. Mm. And so gifted, so talented. I remember a director one day asking Mary, no, 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 in fact, it wasn't a director, it was a scriptwriter, asked Mary what life was. And Mary took a very long time to answer. And she said, life is life. And we were finished because what can you say? Life is life indeed. <laughs> But the most wonderful thing I'll always respect Mary for is that when we talked about Somizi being gay, she laughed and said, I've always known it when he was born, I knew he was gay. And I'd like to say to some parents who are still dealing with their children being gay, just to take a leaf out of Mary's book because there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. She loved her, her son, and the son loved her. Sometimes I used to be so jealous because when used to give Mary lots of money. And you think she'd give me, not even her friend. <laughs> she'll just post. <laughs> just a and, final um, question, Ma'am Lindian. I want to talk about that, that talent that she had. She obviously is uh, very iconic in the television and film industry in... South Africa, the quality that she had as an actress that you think young people uh, should learn from, to, to borrow from, just in terms of her methodology, acting. My sweetheart, one thing I can tell you about Mary, she was forever punctual and she learned her lines, even though she used to fluff them, which was allowed at her age. <laughs> and then she would put her own lines but that's what we loved her for just her presence and then I wish the young people I don't know why you call them celebrities because Mary was never called a celebrity and she never called herself a celebrity even though she was I don't know she was no Mary was an institution so I want to say to the young girls you appear once or twice and then you are a celebrity and you look down upon other people stop doing that because all of us are celebrities not only people on television so mary has left us i don't know she was a library in fact and she always used to say to these young people please humble yourself in Danan, because when you're humble your ways will be open wherever you go mm. Thank you so much mm. for sharing with us, Matsuri Soshte. Oh, may her beautiful soul rest in peace and rise in perfect glory. Thank you so much. Uh, may Lilian.